Okay, so this is our second day of 3.3. So what we're so what we have here, we've already talked about graphing. This equation, this is what we call standard form. Okay, so there's standard form, and you'll see it written as ax plus by equals c. Okay, that's just the, that just means there's just x plus y equals a number and there's coefficients in front of it. Our computer should be closed, okay? So what we have to do is we have to go from standard form to slope intercept form. Okay, that's gonna be where the, what we were doing on Friday, everything was already in slope intercept form. So that means we need to go to y equals mx plus b. Okay, and what we, what we had been doing earlier in the year, we solved for y. You didn't know what you were doing, but you were going from standard form to slope intercept form. So if we have to graph one of these, we have to solve for y first, then we do the graph. So go back to what we did a couple weeks ago. We're gonna draw our line. I wanna solve, I want just y on my left-hand side. That's all I want. Okay, so Landon, what's what do you think? What's the first thing I got to do? Subtract x. So, so put it on the other side. Right. So I want to subtract two x. I'm going to do the opposite. Do it on both sides. So that cancels. I bring the y down. So y equals negative two x plus two. Am I good to go now? No. No. I mean you are. Well, I want just one Y. Do I have just one Y? Yeah, I'm good to go. Okay, so then, uh, Simone, what is my Y intercept? So, um, what is the Y equals? What's my Y intercept of this equation? Is it two? Oh, two. Two, yeah. Okay, that's my y-intercept. What's my slope? Negative two, two over one, negative two. Negative two over one, right. So you, you, you remember, there's, if it's a whole number, there's a number one written underneath there. We just don't always see that. So what do we always start with? Uh, your y your y-intercept. So go to two, put a dot. Okay, that's negative. So remember, it's gonna be going down to the right. As we go left to right, it's gonna be going down. So it's got a rise of negative two. So if I go, go up two, I gotta go to the left one, or I go down two and to the right one, and then that's gonna be my line right there. Okay, so graphing it is the exact same way we did on Friday. Not, we're not changing how we do it, but we just have to do an extra step to get to the slope intercept form. Okay, let's do number 14, and then I'll let you guys try one. So number 14, I'll draw my line. I want just y. So Serena, what am I gonna do first? Um, or add three. Add three x, good. So three x, bring down my y. So y would be three x plus four. Okay, and now I'm good to go. So Simone, what's my y-intercept? Four. Four, good. Um, Jasmine, what's my slope? Three, three over one. one, right, okay. So once again, I always start at my y-intercept, go to four. It's a positive slope, so it's gonna be going up as I go left to right. So one, two, three, and one. One, two, three, and one. So it's a pretty steep uh, line, and it's gonna look like that. Okay, now remember I said with these, because the graphs are not great, we're not gonna be grading them on 100% accuracy. So I'm not gonna look at these and argue with you about the points, but the general look should be the same. Okay, so let's jump down to number 16. Now, why do I think, why do you think I've jumped down to number 16? Uh, because it's a two. The y has a coefficient, right. So there's, we, had, we gotta go back to what we did. So we're gonna do the same thing. We'll start with drawing our line. I want just y. So Taylor, how am I gonna start? Um, you minus the four x. Correct, minus four x. 
that cancels. I'm going to bring down my 2y equals negative 4x plus 6. Now remember, we want this to look like y equals mx plus b. Don't, it's not wrong if you write 6 minus 4x on the right side, but that's not what we want. Okay, Ethan, what's next? That sounds like a oh, question. No, it's divide, by two. divide by two, not by two y, okay. just by two. Divide by just by the coefficient. Remember, everything needs to be divided by two. Okay, if there was a negative there, you'd have to divide by the negative. But everything, so that means this is going to be just y equals negative two x plus three. And now I'm ready to graph. Okay, so Layla, what's my y-intercept? Three. Three, and I start there. Carly, what's my slope? Two over one. Two over one? Or one, wait, That's correct, negative two over one. So we know it's gonna be going down. So I'm gonna draw one, two, one, one, two, one, and it's gonna look like that. Okay, so for those of you that have been good at solving for y, this should be very straightforward. For those that were struggling with it before, we got to get better at it. Okay, I'll do 17. I'll let you guys try one. So once again, we want just y. Okay, so let's see. So Caitlin, what's first? I mean, 6x. Plus 6x. Bring the 3. Do you want me to do the whole thing? Sure, go ahead. And then bring the 3y down. And then bring the 6x to the other side. Mm -hmm. And then minus 9y. Mm -hmm. Okay, now what? And then divide by 3. Divide everything by 3, right. Good, minus three, good. Okay. So, Monty, which my, where do I start? Um, three. Go to negative three, right? And then what? Um, up, two. Mm -hmm. up two. Which way am I going to go, right or left? Right. Right, good. Because it's a positive slope. So, I go down two. So, it's going to look, well, whenever my pen starts to write again. So it's going to look something like this. Okay. Questions? I mean, should be this should be for you guys should be pretty straightforward. So let's go over to um, let's work on nineteen and twenty. Why don't you guys do nineteen and twenty? And let's double check, make sure we got it, and then I'll give you some, some time to work on your assignment. Everybody should, everybody has the assignment, correct? Okay, the assignment's five problems, so when we're done with this, we're gonna try to work on that and use that as our practice.
that's it. So we're we playing that. Just subtract x. Subtract one x. Where's the door going? Whatever the coefficient, if the coefficient is negative, you've got to divide by the whole thing. So is, is it negative? No, it's, it's just y is negative and negative is positive. That's exactly right. Yeah, so it just be y. Okay. Yeah, so we're going Okay, so let's go over these two, and then I'll get a chance to work on your assignment. Okay, Carly, tell me how to do this one. Um, okay, so basically I'm going to plus 2x. Good, plus 2x. On both sides. And then you bring down the 3y. Yep, so 3y. Yep, okay. And then you divide by 3. Divide by 3. So what do I get? And then it'll be y, and then you keep the fraction to 3. Yep. And then it'll just be a plus 4. Right. Now remember, that, that the reason, remember I kept telling you all along, leave the slope as a fraction. This is y. That's your rise over run. Convert it to a decimal makes it a lot harder to graph. Okay, so that was great. So let's see. Uh, Simone, how do I graph this then? Yep. And then you go up to and three to the right. Yep. One, two, three. And then from the four, you go down to and three. One, two, three. Perfect. And you could have gone here. You could have gone up to one, two, three. He chose that way. It, that's all. It's all fine. Doesn't matter. Everybody's gonna have their own preferences, but that's right. That's that's what the line should look like. Okay, number 20. Let's see. Land, oh, that was so like Ethan, how to do this one? Okay, bet. You ready? Subtract negative four from negative four. Huh? Huh? Subtract four. Negative four. Okay, you said subtract four from negative four. That's what I'm trying to. I, just, I mean, you know what I meant. Subtract, negative, subtract four from four. You mean 4x? 4x, yes. Well, that makes a difference. Subtract it from 8. You do realize that there's a difference between subtract 4x and subtract 4, right? Yeah. I'm just asking, you do realize that, right? From what? There's a difference between subtract 4 and subtract 4x. Those are two different yes. things. Okay. Okay, now what? Oh, now we have 2y equals negative 4x plus 8. Is that right? I mean, is that correct? Or not? I know, I'm asking you. There's something wrong there. What did we, what did we forget? Did y'all see it? Oh, shoot. 
What's that little dot sign right there? Negative two. Oh. So you got it, that? So now we divide. Divide by what? Negative two. That's right. Okay, what what I get? Okay. And then two, and then negative four, or regular two. Minutes. I'm pretty sure it's negative four. Wait, why are you two x? Two x. Two x. Everybody agree? Yeah. No. 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 So Taylor, you think that's wrong? You think it's wrong? Okay, what's wrong? No, you should go ahead. You you want to simplify in that case. If you you if you can simplify down to two, because what's underneath this two? Right, there's a one underneath there. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So then we go to negative four. The line's gonna be going up, so it's gonna go up into the uh, right. So it's a slope of two. So up two over one, up two over one. So it's gonna look like that. Okay, everybody good? Okay, so what we want to do, okay, there are some extra practice on here. You can go all the way through down to 24. Okay, I, I would encourage, if, you, if you're not comfortable doing this, I would encourage you to do those other four. Yes, okay, hold on a second. Okay, wait a second. So what I want you to do they, in your assignment, for tomorrow, that's what we're gonna grade, there's five problems. They're just like what we were doing here. Okay, we've gotta take it from standard form to slope intercept form and then graph it. That's what we need to do. So if you need more practice, great. If not, you can go ahead and work on that. I do have the key if we need to look at it and that will grade this tomorrow. If, if, you, want, if you need more practice, you can keep working on that. Otherwise, you can go right to the assignment. Okay, I'm gonna start the recording.